I don't want it to go weird. You're like, I'm going to grab a magazine and hang out in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kelly. Kelly has spent years creating design solutions for big businesses and small home spaces across the globe. We will take you behind the scenes to explore the spaces that inspired Kelly to launch a new product line called Cocobo, a brand all about elevating the ordinary and making the most of everyday spaces. Yeah, I know. That's me and Justin. We're in 11th grade. We're posing for a brochure for our small school. I'm definitely pretending to sing there because I don't know how to sing with any real talent. I've known Justin and Megan um, for nearly 20 years. Last year, they asked me to help them create some cocoa in their home. Justin and Megan's house was built in 1977. The year bell bottoms become a fashionable trend because of Saturday Night Fever. And a new movie called Star Wars is released. Like many houses built in the 1970s, Justin and Megan's house is a smaller one-story ranch-style home. Common complaints for these older homes include their limited functional space in kitchen and bathroom floor plans, low popcorn ceilings, and lack of light. Hey, boss. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Oh, is that the bathroom you're working on for Justin? Yeah, that's the one we just finished. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Speaking of bathrooms, which one of us do you think spends the most time in the bathroom? Oh, babe, come on now. Really? (laughs) That's funny. But yeah, for sure, I admit it, it's me. Yeah. On average, each of us spends over one and a half years of our life in bathrooms. Today, Kelly is going to walk us through how with just one switch, you can create cocoa bowl moments that relieve stress and bring joy in any space, even your bathroom. One thing you need to know about us is that we are opposites in almost every way. Uh, he's the spender, I'm the saver. He really likes you know, his brands and being dressed up and I'm t-shirt and jeans all day. And um, oh, you hate being cold and love the hot and I am the opposite. I hate being hot and I love the cold. (laughs) But you fell in love with me anyway. I sure did. (laughs) And much like our relationship, it takes some compromise and some work to kind of pull everything together. Now stick with me here. (laughs) It's a lot like when you design, redesign your bathroom, you know, like you got to take some things, you got to work with some things, you need to compromise. It takes, it takes some work to kind of bring everything together and achieve unity. So I want to show you how you can do that with lighting in your bathroom. Unity and consistency are important design principles to consider when designing a bathroom because they can elevate the emotional experience in your room. Achieving unity and consistency in a bathroom space creates a sense of calm and peace and order. While it's important to consider this design principle when purchasing all your finishes, fixtures, lighting, colors across the entire space, today we are going to take a look at just the lighting. In the guest bathroom I'm showing you, I was able to bring unity to the space by using a light and airy monochromatic color palette that works really well because of the lighting we chose. Most full bathrooms can be split up into three zones, shower, overhead, and vanity. Each zone has a unique lighting need. I actually love shopping for fixtures to fit any space, but sometimes I just don't have the time. A great site to use is build.com. They carry almost everything you would need for the best lighting in each area of your bathroom. When shopping for this shower, I chose overhead recessed can lights. You want to be sure to use wet rated lighting in the shower or bathing area. For the ceiling of this shower, we use two small recessed wet rated cans. I chose two instead of one in order to get a more even wall washing effect of light onto the wall tile to bring out the texture of the tile. For overhead lighting, we use similar recessed cans to those in the shower to spread out general lighting and create a clean, simple look. You know how at some hotels you've got this really nice lighting in the bathroom and it just kind of makes you kind of feel good, you're looking in the mirror, you're like, this lighting's really great, kind of dance a little bit. Well, that is because you're having an endorphin rush from really good lighting. And what if I told you that you too could have a good endorphin rush from your own lighting at home? 
You know, our bathroom mirror is the one we trust the most to tell us if we look good enough to go into the day ahead. So why do we settle for lighting that makes us appear washed out or cast shadows even darker under our eyes? For the vanity area, we wanted a flattering light source for getting ready that can also be a beautiful statement in the space. I chose a round lighted mirror. This one changes color temperature, making it flexible and used for different types of mood lighting or adjust for skin tone. Then in this room, we had some fun choosing accessory lighting. This tape light is mounted under the vanity. It serves several purposes, but one I want to highlight is that it makes the room feel larger. Your eye continues under the vanity, creating the illusion that the floor space is larger. If you have any questions about lighting in your living spaces, comment below. So we were supposed to have a shoot on Tuesday, but we canceled it because I am headed to the lighting show in Dallas, at Dallas Market. For Kokobo, I am hoping that we'll find um, some good manufacturers to make some good connections. I have, uh, I have a light that I've been working on that I designed that I'm looking for a manufacturer, so I'm hoping to find a manufacturer for that. So the light has been designed, it's been ready. We've, we've sent it to several manufacturers. Um, it can be made, it's just um, the pricing that we've received back has just been so cost prohibitive to make the light. If we go to the show and we don't find the right manufacturer, if it's all no's, um, we'll just keep going. I mean, we're not gonna give up, we'll just probably pivot, come up with something else, maybe redesign it. Um, you know, I've, I have looked at different ways to redesign it that based on the feedback, so some of the manufacturers have said, you know, if, if we do it a different way, if we kind of redesign it, that maybe it will be easier to make. Um, it kind of takes away from the design intent a little bit, so I'm holding out to not have to do that, but giving up is not an option. <laughs> it's not an option. I mean, I've this whole journey, I have um, I've designed lots of things, and, you know, for whatever reason, you know, stop or kind of put them aside and not continue, not pursue it. Um, but this time I feel different about it. I feel excited. We're going for it. We're going to do it this time. And um, maybe this isn't the right time to make the light, but I'm not giving up on it. So we'll pursue it until, until we're able to make it. It's technically our first product. We're just may not be the first to be produced. So almost every great business story always has like the beginning where they're told no and things don't work or there's a big flop. So, hey, I just think, you know, we're just adding to that big, long, successful business story <laughs> by adding in all the failures at the beginning. It's just part of it. It's far for the course. I actually invited Chris today to see the lighting changes that we've made. Now he's gonna see the whole um, room, but I'm not gonna show the whole room off to you just yet. So, um, Chris, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Here it goes. Oh, wow. This is cool. Wow, Kelly. Great. Wow, this is slick. This is one of those things that you could just stand in front of <laughs> most of the day, if not all day. That bathroom is like so slick. It's like you've arrived. Like it's that type of place that you're like, hmm, this is high end and the amount of bathrooms you can go into and you're like, you don't mind if you're in and out. That actual bathroom, you want to hang around it. That mirror connected to the hallway like that, it actually like drew, drew you towards it and like almost like a great place to check yourself before you left. <laughs> it was cool, I, I liked it. You did great, babe. Thanks, baby. Whether you want to learn more about space planning or launching your own dream product line, stay here. There is more creating Kokobo for you. Comment with your questions or anything you want to see or know more about. Subscribe so you don't miss out on new Creating Kokobo content.